The breakdown of the £4.5 million expenditure in the pathology department in the financial year 2022-2023 relates to all tests, almost £3 million of them carried in-house as well as other related contracts and fees. Currently, stocks are tightly controlled within the GHA's Modulab system. However, the authority is in the process of implementing a state-of-the-art stock control system called Omnicell. The government says the sections of the principal auditor's report quoted by Joel Ladislaus relate to stock purchased and stored during the COVID pandemic, in particular lateral flow tests and reagents. In the end, it says not all the kit was necessary and some may be reaching their shelf life. The chief minister points out that this spending relates to critical aspects of the GHA's ability to diagnose and treat patients, often in life-saving terms. He says it's easy for Ms. Ladislaus, with the benefit of hindsight and distance, to criticize. However, he asked which of these vital GHA pathology services would it cut had the GSD been elected into government? Which diagnostic or treatment service would not be available due to budget cuts and lack of equipment? This, Fabian Picardo says, is the reality the GSD is trying to mask as cost-effectiveness.